Hello and welcome to this video today guys, my name is Pros and this is another World of Tanks video and this is on the tank called the PZ.KPFW.2 Lutch, Lutch, yeah and this is the tier 4 light tank for the Germans and it's on like the bottom row if you look at it and it, uh, it, it ends up getting the Leopard which is the tier 5 light tank when when I do get that guys I will be making a video and showing you about it because that is the reason why I'm using this tank but to be honest it's not even that bad of a tank it's a little bit of a grind at start but because you're tier 4 you're hoping to get into those low level like you're going to be the top tier in the game the The range on this tank isn't brilliant but it makes up for it in pace this is a gameplay with the highest upgrade so I think the tank overall when you buy it costs 155,000 which isn't too bad for a tier 4 tank and like the upgrades that you can get on this tank are really good what I'm running at the moment is the top uh, upgrade so right across the tree which I think is about 70,000 to actually buy but that is a really good really good upgrade and that's what I'm using now and it does increase the pace a lot and this game this map really suits the this tank with uh, using the buildings as you see I'm going inside the village and I sort of just try to work my way around and do a little bit of damage. The reload is a bit of a killer on this tank, as you see in a minute. I'm sort of just waiting for my reload to hurry up. But if you pace your shots and you've only got like one enemy, unload everything you can, then get out of there or go hide for a minute. But it's honestly a really good tank. It do, yeah, like this was quite a high level game. There's tier sixes, so I wasn't able to get like loads of kills or do loads of. I did quite a bit of damage to like a variety of different people. But I didn't get loads of kills. But I helped. I feel like I helped help the team with like capturing the position and taking fire away from other people. But that's the best way to use this tank, guys. It's a really easy tank to use if you know how to use a light tank. Just sort of not camp, but patrol a smaller area. Like I'm in this building here. Wide park would be a good one. What else has got a lot of buildings? Mines. If you go to like the top right, if you're from one uh, yeah you know the, the building area but uh yeah it's a really good really good tank for that and just because you, you're so small you can easily get behind buildings because sometimes it's frustrating when you're trying to move with this uh, with a tank and then you get shot right at the last second it's just your tracks poking out because you're quite a long tank or quite a big tank like the churchill or uh a matilda maybe but this one's really good like you don't need much cover because the building's uh a lot bigger than you the the, the whole turning and everything, it is a light tank and that's why it is so good at turning. I'm just going to run through a couple of the stats. If my voice sounds a little bit far away, this is just because I'm looking to my monitor. So it has, as I, as I have it with the top upgrade, is 340 hit points, 360 engine power, a 60 kilometers an hour speed limit, a traverse speed of 33, hull armor of 30, 20, 20, turret armor of 50, 30, 30, Standard shell damage is 23 to 38. Standard shell penetration is 71 to 119. A fire rate of 30.88. A turret traverse speed of 38. A view range of... Uh, view range is 360 meters and signal range is 455 meters. So, obviously, key stat is its engine power and its speed. It's a uh, speed limit. And even going like downhills as well, you're just bombing it, as you see in a minute when I try rally the rally the team to go capture the position uh but yeah that like also the standard the standard shell penetration is really high as well so even if you're in a top tier game if you use the pace and like your the size to get behind an enemy which is like the best thing with this tank and they've got less armor on the back or like a tank destroyer because they, they don't they, if they're hull locked they don't have very good traverse speed then get up behind them, just do a little bit of damage, then maybe just duck out of the way, so at least they're, they're marked on the map, and they might be focusing on you when <clears throat> when a friendly mortar can come in and shoot them. But honestly, a really good tank, guys. I'm really looking forward to the Leopard, which is, let me just find out a minute, I think it's like 13,000 more for the Leopard itself. There are quite a few upgrades for the tank. Uh, the Lutch, Lutches, I think it's Lutch, isn't it? Lutches. There's quite a few upgrades. Uh, one, two, three, four, five upgrades. You only need to get three of them, but I do, I do recommend the fourth one, the like in the straight line. There's the one that do drops down below it, but uh, I've got the prices here as well, guys. Once you've bought all the upgrades, is uh, 
8,650 for the first one, 11,810 for the next one, 17,220 for the one after that. The one straight in, because I got it purchased, and then I can't quite remember how much it is. I think it's about 70,000, so it's quite expensive. If you're using this tank for a long time, it, it, it's, it's, and if you're not, if you're okay with money and getting money, then it's fine. And then the one below that, it's 18,620, so it's a really good tank, guys. If you haven't used a light tank, you don't really know how to use it. It's not that bad. It's quite easy to use, but be sure to leave a like and subscribe, guys. If you enjoy this World Tanks videos, be sure to let me know, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Mission accomplished.